Good morning, good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining us today. It is a privilege and honor to have you all again with us. Welcome to our webinar, our monthly webinar, where we invite you all, our families, our friends, our associates, our business partners, to talk about the latest opportunities and trends in the business world. So we will be starting in the next few minutes and uh, while we are waiting for some more people to be joining. Uh, but meanwhile, um, I can see a lot of friends joining already. If you are here and you would like to say a few words, I must you all. And it's been over, over a few weeks. I never see you. Please feel free to say hi. Even if you're a new person joining, you are welcome to just greet us and, and just say something. Uh, I can see our very good friend, uh, Miss Heidi. Miss Heidi is here today. Miss Heidi, how are you doing today? Everyone else who is here, please feel free to mute yourself and say a few words. Wow, good to see you, Miss Heidi. How are you today? I am very good. I'm glad to be here. Wow, it is always an honor to have you with us. Uh, we have been doing this for almost three years now. and I've never seen you miss any of our webinar. So thank you. Thank you so much for always being here. We appreciate your attendance and we know Business Summit is there to help you in every way that we can too. Okay, thank you, Miss Heidi. We have a lot of other friends joining. I remember our friend, Mr. Yusuf. Mr. Yusuf, how are you, sir? I hope that you're well. Remember dealing with Mr. Yusuf um, quite a few times. And oh, our friend, Mr. Ken Rutter is here as always, our very faithful friend. How are you, Mr. Rutter? How are you today? You're good. Please, you are muted. Please say something. Please say something. I would like to hear from you today. I would really love to see how you are. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing great today. Yeah, uh, got lots on the go. And uh, yeah. My daughter's moving. There's an auction sale to attend to. I've got a tenant moving in next week. So what's wow. going on? Being busy is a blessing. I always say that. So if we are busy, if you're yep. busy, it's definitely a blessing. So thank Harvest you again for joining us. We do Harvest have some about three weeks. So. <laughs> sure. We uh, have some exciting news to to announce today, and I'm sure everyone will be very excited. Uh, but before I introduce Dr. Hader, I can see some of um, our friends still joining. I want to personally say hello to Mr. Chedley, Mr. Fred Chedley. How are you, sir? Yeah, how are you? Are you good? I am very, I am very well, thank you. I've been traveling. We've been dealing on email. I'm sure you remember me. My name should should uh, yeah, say course, something. Yeah, of course, of course. Absolutely. <laughs> I've been traveling. Thank, thank you very much. Yes. Thank, Thank you, you for much. joining. Thank you so much for joining. Where are you from, Mr. Chidley? I am from Tunisia. Wow. From Tunisia. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yes. Right now, Thank we you. have people all over, all over the continents, different continents. <laughs> I already spoken yeah. to people from, from three or four different continents uh -huh. right now. <laughs> Essentially based in Europe, country in Canada, in the United States of America, in GCC country. We have a lot of doctors and uh, in in Europe and uh, teachers and uh, engineer from Tunisia. D did you wow, did, did you visit awesome. or not? Did you visit Which Tunisia country? or not? Tunisia. 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 No, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. It's in my you list. Are yep. You are welcome. I will definitely. Thank you, Mr. Fred. Thank you so much. Uh, before we start, actually start, let me just uh, allow one more person to say something. Mr. Yusuf, I see you're raising your hand, so you, you're back here. How are you keeping today? You're muted, Mr. Yusuf. Okay. I can see uh, one more person, Mr. Sunny. I can see you on the video. How are you, sir? I hope that you're well. Please say a few words and tell us where you are from. I I yeah, before Avishek. Nice to meet you. Good to meet you too. Where are you from? I'm actually from the UK, um, London, but I'm currently in Poland. Actually, um, my my fiance is Polish, so living with the in-laws, 
as it were, keeping the wife happy. Um, but yeah, yeah. All good. I was invited by um, Dr. Haida Uzman for, wow. to be here today. So very happy to be here. Um, looking forward to finding out everything, discovering. Wow, that's great. I think I think the first discovery you might make right now is that a happy wife is a happy life. So <laughs> well done on that. <laughs> <laughs> okay okay everyone let me you, officially you welcome from experience you. Abhishek. <laughs> yep i have to say <laughs> <laughs> okay let me officially start this webinar uh, welcome everyone to business summit this is our monthly webinar where we meet different business leaders global investors we meet uh, different people from all over the world all continents just to discuss about businesses opportunities that are offered right now on the platter so everyone can benefit from this network that we have created. Without any further delay, let me please uh, welcome Dr. Haider Uzaman, our chairman and president of Business Summit, a great leader, uh, an awesome man, know him and his family. I've spent a lot of time with him. I must say, Dr. Haider, we honor you and salute you, sir. Dr. Haider is right now traveling with the president of um, uh, uh, Guyana, and despite that, he still made some time to come today. He asked me if I can do the webinar by myself. I said, Doctor, I don't mind doing it, but people will be looking for you. You have some fans here, and they will be looking for you. So, Doctor Hader, welcome, and thank you for joining us again today. Hello, good morning, good morning, good morning. Salam alaikum. Good morning, Doctor Hader. <laughs> Bazu, hola. <laughs> How are you all? All good, Dr. Hader. We have a lot of people already starting to join and lots of new people. So uh, it's gonna be, going to be exciting. I think everyone is excited about what we are going to announce today. I'm very glad on that to um, see some of our new friends uh, here. Um, Mr. Mike Singh is one of them from uh, a global uh, visionary leader in telecommunication business. And he's... Um, a great uh, person I met in Guyana um, last time, and we became very good friends. And uh, I was very impressed to hear he's talking in Bangla, in my own language, in my mother tongue, um, mother language. And then I was very surprised. So I can see Mr. Singh is here, and uh, we uh, are glad that Mr. Singh would be talking about some of the um, investment and business opportunities and his experience in the um, telecommunication sectors, um, given his wide experience in these sectors. Um, we have a, a lady friend from uh, uh, Nigeria. She's um, a um, coach, uh, and um, her name is Tonia. Tonia, and uh, you can see her probably, and um, she's from Nigeria, but a great um, digital uh, marketer. And... Uh, excellent person that we uh, met recently um, online and um, she has been uh, in business. So welcome to our uh, summit. We have, uh, I, I can't now name everyone, but uh, I think we have a uh, lot of our new friends that uh, joined and also our um, earlier friends that has been with us for a long time. Appreciate your um, trust and uh, confidence and your um, uh, continuous support. Well, I had a Tremendous amount of travel last three months, I would say. I mean, post-COVID has been like uh, on the wheel most of the time. So three months I have been traveling like uh, Caribbean, then to um, Europe two, three times to many countries, including Portugal, um, Latvia, Germany, um, Italy, France, and all. Then again, came back and to Canada, then to us and then again back to europe and we had a fantastic time there so as i was telling um, my team the other day on thursday that um, many people are not um, moving around so after post covid it has been kind of a monotonous and people shifted their mindset and their position and not many people are traveling these days given the situation that in in europe uh, there are um, threats and crisis in a way that Mr. Putin has created with the Ukraine situation, unfortunately. And um, many people are not uh, going and doing business like before. 
Uh, but um, there are so much of opportunities, I can tell you. I mean, it's a uh, tremendous of, uh, opportunities existing in, in those areas. So I was saying that this is the best time to cast fish because too much of uh, money flow, flowing and floating around. So I'm sure Mr. Sani Basra, my friend, you will be able to second this because I was in Poland also. I didn't know that you are in um, in in um, Warsaw. I was uh, in Warsaw uh, meeting someone for three hours at the airport. And then I, I you know, continued my journey towards uh, Riga. So with um, Lord Polish Airlines flight. So uh, next time, definitely I'll not miss the good food um, and, 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 and um, follow your path probably for other other things in, in um, Poland. So um, let's, and, and there are tremendous amounts of business opportunities as well in Poland right now popping up due to this um, crisis. I think in the way we say that somebody's problem is somebody else's opportunity. So if we don't have a problem, we won't be going to the dentist if we don't have a problem. So that's an opportunity for the dentist. If we don't have an eye problem, we don't go to eye specialist. So that's how the opportunities are defined. So I think um, right now, there are a lot of business opportunities pop around in Europe. And also the economy, as I was just, I should show the um, slide, but I just saw the World Bank um, estimation that the economy size of, meg I mean, top 20 economies in the world uh, will be, who will be the top 20 economies by 2030? And I can see the US economy size from current $18 trillion, it will be $33 trillion in 2030. So look at the size of the economy growing. The economy of China will be growing from right now, it is 12 billion, 12 trillion. So 12 and a half trillion dollars. It will be going to 27 trillion dollars. It will be tremendously growing. The economy of India right now, it is about um, 3 trillion and it will be growing up to $8 trillion. Uh, economy in other countries, like even a small country like Bangladesh, their economy size right now is $500 billion. And this is going to hit 1 trillion by 2030, regardless. So look at this, uh, some of these countries that are progressing heavily and uh, making a huge uh, impact in economy. So I think these are the, this is the time that Business leaders like those who you are here, um, you must take real time, right steps, right actions. I would, I say uh, sometimes the massive actions. So you need to take massive actions with the right plan to make this opportunity come to you, and take the maximum benefit. And let's not you know let let let's compliment the world. Let's do some good things with the money that we earn in globally. Well, right now I am in Washington, D.C. I was just cutting a joke with my team before a few minutes that I just flew down from uh, Toronto yesterday in Washington. And from here, I'll be going to Caribbean to um, attend another uh, uh, state program. I have been invited by um, the president of uh, Guyana uh, to um, accompany him. So um, I'll give you the updates uh, from there. And uh, I think there are a lot of opportunities popping up in, in the Caribbean as well, as Guyana, Suriname, and others are, um, you know, discovering massive volume of oil and gas and other resources. So these are all small countries having a small volume of people, like Guyana is a big country in terms of the geographical size, like it's double the size of Bangladesh, but the population is only 700,000. 700,000 living in a village in Bangladesh, I tell you, because in Bangladesh, we have 200 million people right now, 200 million in 140,000 square feet area, uh, square kilometer area, 140,000 square kilometer. It's very small. Guyana is 200, 
20,000 square kilometer. And just imagine, they have 700,000 people and now there is a crisis, there is no people. Three, a uh, few weeks back last month, I was attending the Honorable President uh, Irfan Ali in Toronto. He was, he came down to Toronto to invite the Guyanese, about 90,000 Guyanese are living in, in Canada who are Guyanese Canadian. So he came down to uh, Toronto, inviting them back to the country, saying, and he declared, what are the opportunities available? And he's, he was even saying that some of you will be, most of you will be getting more money what you are making here, come back, and we'll give you more money than what you are making in Canada. Just imagine, they, they need a tremendous amount of uh, workforce right now and a um, lot of developments going on they're utilizing the wild money they're making they even in in the year 2022 they released the news last uh, two weeks back his corporation released the news that the revenue they uh, they earned in 2022 is um, 12 billion us dollar approximately 11 plus billion us dollar from guyana alone so look at this situation. So how this economy in a small country is looming and you know booming. So we are business leaders. We need to real time take uh, note of this uh, opportunities. Those who are global business leaders, those who are you know um, niche business leaders that use probably producing or dealing with a particular pro program, you know, products or services that is very much essential into those countries because they were a member of HIPOC, heavily indebted poor countries only three, four years before. They were, they were extremely, you know, um, living below the line. Um, that was a kind of, uh, um, you know, underdeveloped country. So now suddenly they need to, they're triggering to be Qatar or, or they're triggering to be Dubai. So they cannot be doing it without the support of you and me. It's impossible because they don't, they have the knowledge, they don't have the human beings, they don't have the capital required to do this. Even if you have the money without the manpower, you can do nothing. Still, we say that, you know, the most um, advanced airplane like Boeing 777, when it was test flown, the pilot who did the test flight, he said, this is the ultimate flying machine. And Boeing had a plan to you know, operate these aircraft without pilot. Like they wanted to land these aircraft and then this pilot says, this can literally land without the hand touch of a pilot, but it's still man behind the machine is the power. So anything you want to do is still the human beings are the main resources. So what we think, what we do, what we take action, that matters. So what you are doing, what you are thinking, that matters a lot. Well, we have a lot of uh, exciting news. That is one of the reasons that we didn't particularly invite any, um, any um, guest speaker today. Normally, we bring a guest speaker, as you know, one or two, three. But we um, did not bring any particular guest speaker today, except Mr. Mike Singh would be talking. Today is basically your day. If you want to say something that what business you do and you need some assistance, support, finance, financing, and so on, let me, uh, then please feel free um, to raise your hand and we will listen to you. And our friends will listen to you from all over the world. The beautiful thing here is we have uh, our friends right from Australia, Asia, Middle East, Africa, Central Asia, Europe and um, Americas, every both North and South Americas. So this, all the people from, uh, you can see if there are 52 uh, persons at the moment in the screen, uh, there are more coming going. So they are all from different countries in the six continents. So we are covering the world in a way. And uh, that's something unique, I say, that um, this morning over your coffee, uh, Mr. Ken is from um, Ken Ruta. He's from Canada. Uh, similarly, we have uh, our friends from Malaysia, Singapore, uh, Australia, Bangladesh, India, Dubai, and and uh, Africa, East Africa. I, I have uh, David Sosa. I think uh, here from K 
Kenya, there is Tania from Nigeria, and there are people from uh, Ghana and Gambia and so on and Europe. As uh, you can see, Mr. Um, Sunny is uh, from UK and uh, our other friends are from UK and Latvia, uh, Poland, uh, Portugal, Germany, uh, why not? <laughs> Canada and, uh, and a lot of people from the Caribbean as well. And I'm from US and there are many other from US as well. So this is uh, a great uh, time to do business. This is what I would say that, you know, uh, giving you the insight a little bit, I can tell you with my experience for last one year's travel, I can see a tremendous amount of opportunities popped in, popped in, in, to the, in, the, in the world, in Africa. I was in Africa, in Tanzania, Kenya, uh, in Ghana, in, uh, uh, in Morocco. Oh. In Tunisia, also. I'll be in Nigeria. I'll be in Nigeria on, uh, in, in September. Um, I'll be in Zurich in October, attending a summit that uh, my friend uh, Oksana is organizing and expecting about 400 people. And um, so we will be, you know, there's so many things are happening in this world. So we need to be now warming up, wake up and take massive actions and make things happen and let other smile and let other follow you. So leaders, I thank you once again very much for uh, keeping your trust. We will be declaring something very, very, very exciting today. And um, uh, so you just um, have a sip on your uh, coffee and um, just uh, uh, wait for a while to uh, give you the good news, give you the exciting news that we will be declaring today. I thank you once again for uh, joining and uh, we'll be continuing and uh, I return to Mr. Avi to go for the next uh, episodes of this program. Sure, thank Dr. Tudor, thank you so much. Um, would you have somebody raising uh, their hand, uh, Aziz? Sorry, I'm not sure if it's a Mr. Masiz or Aziz. Adinka. Yes, uh, she, uh, he, he or she raised a hand. You're welcome to speak. Yes, good good afternoon okay. from Nigeria yes. here. Good, okay, afternoon. Good. good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Yes. yes. So please, uh, I I attended a meeting about a year ago. Then last meeting I was present, but I have a proposal that I want to present. Then I was unable to make my presentation due to network from our hand here. So I had the proposal earlier and I sent reply to the message I received earlier concerning my presentation today. I don't know maybe I'll be giving floor later to have my presentation. I have a business proposal that I want to present. We are not really doing presentation today, but in two minutes you can tell us what it's about. And after that, we will also give you our email so then we can proceed to give you the next steps, how we can work yes, with your product. Yes, In two minutes, yes, you can tell us what you're looking for. All right, okay. Thank you. Yes, so tell us, you may, you may tell us a summary of what you're looking for. I'm looking for investors. For what sure, kind of a project, Mr. Aziz? If yes, I may I'm know. partners, yes, sir. What kind of a business you are in? Uh, it's into uh, animal husbandry business in Nigeria here. Ah, okay. Well, yes. we, we, if you can send us an email, then uh, we will be able to uh, connect you to the right people, right person, I'm sure. All right, sir. I uh, will do that. Thank you very much. Sure. Uh, thank you so much, Mr. Aziz. Anyone else who would like to say something, please raise your hand. I will I will call you to say a few words. You're welcome to say where you're from and what do you do. Perhaps you're not really looking for something, but someone else might want to do business with you. It's all about networking. Your net worth is about your net worth is all about your network. Okay, I see Mr. Sunny raising his hand. Mr. Sunny, you're welcome to speak. Thank you very much. I will be very happy to take this opportunity to uh introduce SoundRig. SoundRig is a music platform that will be leveraging uh, bl blockchain technology to distribute music all over the world, right? Um, I'm not sure how much everyone knows about blockchain, but 
this technology is set to liberate people, especially from developing countries and areas of economic poverty, right? So SoundRig itself is a for-profit social enterprise. Uh, we'll be doing as much as we can to help music artists from emerging markets, they call it in the music industry, but I call it the world, right? So what you have is uh, for the last three or four decades, you've had a situation where the industry that's that big is being concentrating on a pool of artists that small in the whole world and they get all the glory and they get all the revenue what we want to do is concentrate on the millions of artists that are left to the side they're forgotten and they're not given a stage right um so by doing that we have um, i'm very excited to say that we've got our first initiative um under my project simba simba means social impact through media business alliances and the first initiative of that is Kukuma Studios. So, and I'll be very quick. Kukuma Studios, if you guys don't know, is one of the largest refugee camps in Kenya, Kukuma Refugee Camp. Over 250,000 people live there. And we are going to be building the first music studio in a refugee camp ever. And we're going to be using that to provide, um, let's say, the first use case that this is possible. And then by building the studio in there, we'll be able to allow them to record their music and sell them as music NFTs, as well as through the normal channels. Um, we've been alive for one year. We have still at MVP and we are raising our funds to take it from MVP to where it needs to be. And that's literally in the hands of every music artist and music fan in the world. So that's my call for help, or let's say cry for help. Um, I'm just putting it out there into the ether. Um, I will put my email address and uh, website in the chat. And if anyone's interested in partnering with us, whether it's for investment or whether it's for, you know, you in the music industry or you want to just discuss something, um, I'll be more than happy to talk with you guys. Thank you for the stage. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Sunny. Um, actually, apart from being a part of this wonderful team, uh, I also own about a few schools, music schools in South Africa here. So <laughs> that is really, really awesome to hear um, Like our students have even been on South Africa, got talents and, and uh, uh, we have a few schools at the end of the year, we do like massive events where there's a lot of people that comes and we give exposure to, to all the people who come to learn music, singing, you name it, and take them out to uh, give them exposure, international exposure, local exposure, playing uh, live concerts. So I look forward maybe to hear from you. Maybe we can discuss. Um, I, I just want to know. I am, I am a bit, um, I must say, uh, curious to see what you are doing. And perhaps um, this would be, might be an opportunity for many of the 100 students that we have. So you can we can see why not. So thank you. Um, you can drop maybe your number to me on the, on the chat or your email, anything. I will come back to you and we can discuss. Avi <laughs> I've already got ideas just bubbling already, man. There's so much we can do. So that's amazing. Super, super, super. You for that. I can see a joint venture already happening, man. Come on. So that's how <laughs> we close business. You know why people come here? You know, yesterday I was having a chat with my friend here and he was asking, why people come to your summit? I said, I'm sorry for the interruption, gentlemen. So oh, no you worries, no. both are excited. So I can see a joint venture happening on the spot. I can yeah. see a synergy. <laughs> so you see two, you, two of you are in the same line of business and you both are meritorious and talented uh, gentlemen. And you can definitely complement to each other. You are not competing. You are complementer. And definitely I can see you are complementing. So then... What I, he was asking me, why people come to your summit and what they get? I said, uh, what they get uh, is when they come, they meet the people like this. When we invite them in person in Kuala Lumpur or in Thailand or in Canada, you keep on having coffee and tea and uh, drink water and you know, look at the presentation we make on the project. And we only show 15 projects, max. That's the 15 projects that we show. We say ready to go like fruits on the platter. That is ready to go. Like what business Mr. Sunny has, it's not something that he's dreaming of. He's in business. That to it is easy that if he has an investor, to scale up his business is, is not a problem. It's easy. 
But if it is a greenfield project that somebody is thinking something that can be possible, but it will take its own time. So that is where our niche is that we connect with the investor for the projects that are ready to go, that are completely ready to go for expansion, for uh, you know, for um, new line, or you want to open up the new branches, or you want to expand, or you want uh, to scale up then we are here or you want to exit then we we can arrange the funder the partners and so on on the spot they will be saying you yes or no because we do a lot of homework and we do a lot of uh, due diligence on your project before we present to the investors so that goes through in this in person um, program I'm sorry to take uh, the lead and um, no worries. No worries. And no worries. I can see another gentleman uh, raised hand. So let's hear him yes. for a minute. Definitely. Mr. Osman, you're welcome to speak. Thank you, Mr. Abhishek. Uh, thanks for having me. So uh, good morning, good evening, or good night to everyone because a lot of people are from a lot of places. So I'm from Bangladesh. I'm Osman Gunituhin. I'm an FDI facilitator lawyer. Uh, we do have help people with uh, the FDI strategy in Bangladesh. As Mr. Haidar said, that Bangladesh is going to be a $1 trillion economy in 2030. So a uh, uh, lot of people are investing here in Bangladesh. Bangladesh is building 100 economic zones. Uh, already they have uh, uh, 14 uh, export processing zones also. And they also, uh, we are also building high tech parks also. So a lot of people are investing here in Bangladesh. So I thought that maybe some of you might be interested in investing here in Bangladesh. We do help people with their legal and taxation strategies. And uh, uh, we, we ensured that people are having a smooth, operation here so i will leave my uh, website address and my email address so that uh, you can contact with me in future for any further assistance thank you wow, thank you so much mr osman we really really appreciate that thank you for sharing um that is really awesome and great to hear yes please do leave your details on the chats and so people can connect with you and also um Lima can also take your details and Sharafat can also take your details so we can stay in touch. Thank you so much, Mr. Osman. Uh, if anyone else wants to say who you are and where you're from and what you do, please feel free. Uh, like how you just saw um, business just get connected and this is how we get connected. Uh, we have a platform on our website where we have like lots of people registering to connect with other businesses. They pay for it. And what we do every month is free and it's live and direct. So you don't need to, to send an email and wait for the person to reply, not knowing who you are talking to. Right now, you have the opportunity to speak and say what to do, what you're looking for. And if there's anyone that can connect with you, they will connect with you on the spot. So please feel free. Anyone else who wants to talk, you're welcome to raise your hand. Hey. <clears throat> Dr. Hiro, I see, our, I'm sorry if I have to invite him to speak, but I see our very good friend, Mr. Ronnie Delgad. I met him last year in uh, we, when we had the Toronto Summit. So, Mr. Ronnie, how are you keeping, sir? It is good to see you. You're muted, you're muted. <laughs> I'm in Ronnie's territory now. Last, last week I was here when I was in New York. He was also inviting me to go to Las Vegas and give me a treat. Now... I said, my brother, this time not, but next time probably time after next. So something to declare today, then Ronnie will be a, a great uh, help for sure. He's a great brother of uh, mine. Oh, uh, uh, Abhishek, uh, Dr. Susban, uh, my goodness, I, I'm, I feel blushing. I mean, you have a good crowd uh, in, the, in, the, in their house today and to remember me, I feel very blessed and very honored. Uh, hi, everybody. As you can tell, I have a beautiful accent. Uh, this is a wonderful organization. I'm in Las Vegas and, and uh, Nevada. If you come into Las Vegas, you know we are the capital uh, of hospitality of the world. We've been Dubai. 
Ano sa mga view from Dubai? Don't feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> Las Vegas is where everything happening. Uh, it's a big move. I moved from Atlanta uh, to be in Las Vegas, and I love it. I love it. I still go back to uh, Atlanta from time to time. But um, of course, this, this, there, there are a lot of opportunities for you here. Uh, I, I can connect you to any uh, Chamber of Commerce in the U.S., uh, but more specifically in Las Vegas. If you have any business venture, uh, hotel development, big development project uh, uh, from $25 to $7 billion uh, development project, uh, uh, Las Vegas is your town. And, and I can connect you with people. Uh, if you have money to invest, of course, uh, we welcome the opportunity to work with you. But my personal organization is Global Paint for Charity. It is a sustainable paint waste management organization. What we do, we collect paint from the US and bring colors to countries where people cannot afford paint. As you know, many places where you live, you probably need paint. You need beautifications. To bring tourists yeah. like we do in Las Vegas, you need color. You need things that can bring people home. Keep your house beautiful. Building beautiful. And that's what we do in Las Vegas. And you can check out our website. I put it there, globalpaints.org. I don't want to take the stage. There's so much I can share with you guys. They call me on spot, so I have to show up. But I'm excited <laughs> to be here. It's a great day on Saturday. And I applaud you for taking that chance on a Saturday where everybody on the beach, uh, having a good time with their family, you are here to, commit, to make connections, looking for funding, to tell people about your idea, what you do. I applaud you, congratulations, and I hope you make some great connection today. And I'm here, you can reach out to me and have a good day. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so very... much, Mr. Ronnie. Thank you so much. What a great speech. <laughs> I just saw you <laughs> and I just had this whole feeling, that whole vibe we had uh, almost one year ago. What did I was telling Dr. Peter after that event in Toronto? The, the amount oh of work that was behind this summit, it's, it's, oh, it was in I'm, my I'm still receiving <laughs> email and phone call from people who attended the event and, and they want to make connections, especially when they come to the U.S., uh, we met people from Africa. I could remember what part, but uh, what country, but they reach out. They say, Ronnie, we're going to be in Atlanta. And, and what can we do? Where can we? And it's that kind of connection and camaraderie we created among this program. So I'm, I'm very excited. Uh, you guys are doing a fantastic job. Congratulations. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Mr. Ronnie. It's an honor, a privilege to do that. Dr. Hader, I think um, you you may go ahead and, and tell our guests. I think everyone is waiting to hear what it is about. So Dr. Hader, um, please. Well, thank you. Thank you. Um, it, it was uh, almost two years that I met uh, Brother Ronnie in uh, Toronto and we had a great time together. And that's that cannot be substituted with this meeting. Can it be? No, it can't be. Like if I was with him right now in in um, in Las Vegas, how would it be? Just imagine, just imagine that if instead of on the screen, if we are together, we are two brothers having coffee, having drinks and lunch and dinner. How would it be? And talking about business and checking, you know, talking about the numbers, figures and uh, development of the world and uh, talking about his business, my business, and so on. How good it be, you know, it would be fantastic. But we are unable to do this because we are all busy here and there, here and there, and, you know, busy with our life, with our um, with our uh, business and so on. So what we, we, we couldn't do due to the COVID, we had to squeeze our programs for the last three years. Even with a lot of challenge during COVID time, we tried to hold our summit in Toronto and it was a very successful summit because the government allowed us only 56 people to be seated in the whole ballroom. But we had more than 60, 60 persons coming from all around the world. And that showed that, um, you know, we, we were committed. Now, I'm very excited to declare that we will be having an in-person summit in Lisbon, in Portugal, 
on the 15th of February, 2024. So don't, um, I mean, just keep your, uh, you know, calendar, put, put things in your Google calendar, 15th February in Lisbon. In Lisbon, the city is happening. And as you know, Lisbon is hosting right now the world, uh, the global yacht summit. And I was told yesterday that there are 1.8 million uh, yachts got together in uh, Lisbon yesterday, where um, His Highness uh, uh, Pope is uh, addressing uh, the summit. He has been invited as the guest of honor to address the yachts of the world. So that's something, that's the city. It's a fantastic city. I have been to Lisbon at least 20 times still now. And um, I thought that that's a center of everywhere. From the US, you can go there in five, seven hours from any point, seven, eight, you know, from New York, it is a six hours flight. From um, Washington, it's about six and a half. And um, all around, you know, it's uh, from Toronto, it's a seven hours nonstop flight and there are 10 to 10, 15 flights a day. From Europe, it's um, like their home. Anywhere from, from, um, from uh, Russia, you have tons of flights and it's about two and a half hours flight nonstop. From London, it's about two hours. From anywhere to anywhere, it's um, from Dubai, it's around five and a half, six hours flight. From Kuala Lumpur, it's a little longer, 10 hours. But um, from Bangladesh or from India, um, the, that part to Lisbon is about 10 hours, nine, 10 hours. So you, you, you can be there um, from anywhere, from Africa, any point in Africa, like from Western Africa, it's five, six hours flight. And uh, they have very good connections with um, um, Tapia, Portugal, uh, Lufthansa, KLM, and uh, Air Maroc is flying um, and is connecting. So from Eastern Africa, also it's about seven, eight hours flight. So you can be there from anywhere. From Southern America, there are tremendous amount of flight because, you know, Brazil was the uh, was uh, part of uh, Portugal that was Portuguese colony and most of these uh, some of some of the other countries they were uh, colonies of uh, Portugal and uh, Netherlands and uh, and France so a lot of flights been operated till now with the by Portuguese airline and KLM and uh, uh, German uh, Lufthansa and Air France so you can always be there in six, seven, eight hours time from anywhere in the world. So Lisbon is a uh, pretty center, center of the world. So we'll be hosting our next in-person summit on the 15th of February, 2024 at the most uh, lavish hotel, intercontinental uh, Lisbon. And um, we have a very good uh, um, hotel rate of $210. You can book directly with the uh, with the Intercontinental through our website uh, that um, Mr. Avi will be talking shortly um, and showing you how to do this. And then we have great news that I cannot name right now because I didn't get the written confirmation from two of the African leader, two of the African president will be attending this summit. So guys, please take a serious note of this event that there will be two of the African presidents and one of the uh, president or prime minister from Car the Caribbean, the most happening ones that are uh, coming. So you will be having three um, BBIPs. Um, they are not coming as a BBIPs to show up that uh, they are there, you know, as a president or a prime minister. They are coming to present the opportunities his country or their country is having. Uh, name it gold mining, diamond mining, uranium mining, or or any other resources. They need uh, uh, investors. They need partners. They need um, uh, you know uh, intelligent people to work in their countries. So get ready. And I think this is the uh, opportunity that you'd be looking at. And also, I'm very glad to declare that I was in New York and met one of my um, very good, great friend who is also 
connected to a billionaire's club in New York. And um, I have been told that numbers of billionaires from New York will be joining this summit. So we are expecting about five to 10 billionaires coming from the US, those who are matters in the US economy. It's too early to name them and because of their um, you know, NDA that we have signed on, we cannot disclose their name at this point of time. So because of this, uh, you know, their own strategy and safety. So they, but they confirmed that they will be there in um, Lisbon. So look at this, what is going on right now in Lisbon. So I can see it is already happening and ex, you know, the, the energy is very high. So there will be only limited seats because we have one, this time we decided to make it 100 seats only. And um, from all around the world, we can accommodate only 100 uh, friends, 100 uh, partners in this program. So if you would like to make it, please um, you know, um, note it down and then go for actions. That's um, one. And then we will be having our another summit. We'll be next year holding two summits, in fact, with the request from all these billionaires in in New York, we'll be having another summit on the 1st of August. 1st of August, exactly 11 months from today or 12 months, close to 12 months from today in New York. But the venue, we will be confirming you soon. So there are two events coming up in person. Let's have coffee, let's have lunch, let's have dinner, and let's close deals of your dream. I mean, your, of your dream life. So let's do that. I look forward to see you in Lisbon on the 15th of February. Thank you. Well, wow, thank you, Dr. Hader. This is really, really exciting. Um, just to clarify and, and to let everyone know why do we still do this? Um, I give an example. I was talking to Mr. Fred Chiddi, who was here, uh, uh, who was here actually in the meeting. And Dr. Hader, I was traveling the last month and because of a time difference, and every time he wakes up, I'm already up early morning and already checked my email and I was already on the road. So it was taking me a few hours to actually just get through basic communication. This creates a lengthy uh, communication gap. And at some point in time, somebody can just say, you know what, it, it, it's not working for me. But this is the place where you will be meeting investors on the spot. So some people where you would not be able to meet them on a normal day, we are working very hard. For those who don't know, right now we have a huge amount of work going on in the background. There's a lot of work we're putting in, dealing with the hotel, dealing with the invitations, dealing with the VIPs. And it's not very easy to get a hold uh, uh, of them and, and get everything done. So we, we are grateful to Dr. Hader for being able to break the barriers and get us through these very, very important people. And uh, so this is really an event for you to come. If, if you have a project, uh, you can go on our website and, and purchase your tickets. I will be showing you the website very shortly. And even if you say, I just want to come and be part of the summit to meet those people that are around uh, us, to meet those people that are coming, you are welcome to do so. Uh, go on our website and buy your tickets. Like we said, there's only 100 people. Unfortunately, we have to limit this event. So it's only first come first serve basis and uh, i just want to quickly show my screen if you want to go and check it out you can go on www.businesssummit.net um so just give me one second and one of my friend uh, just writing in the chat uh, mr jigger thank you very much he's offering more billionaires to join this event thank you so much <laughs> yes. thank you very yes. very much definitely we need more and more billionaires because the way we plan is basically one is to ten but this time it will be lesser like one project versus ten investors so that you have more chance of getting your project funded on the spot you will be meeting the investors on the spot like today in person, meet them, talk to them, and we will be preparing your project nicely and presenting in the wide screen. They will look at it, and it's like an auction house. They will be, you might, if you are lucky, you will be having a multiple investors talking to your projects, and definitely you can close it because they don't need to do the severe due diligence because we do the initial due diligence and we work for you, and then we do the 
presentation and uh, the numbers. We check everything absolutely uh, clear and then present to the investors. So they know the investors are having a lot of trust on us and they know that we don't submit or we don't uh, you know, share wrong information or, or uh, you know, untrue information. So they are absolutely um, sanguine. That's why they come here. Why the investor, why the billionaires will come? They have, do, do, do they have enough time to spend with us? No, they don't. But yeah, of course they're coming because they want to see if there is a business that they can do which they don't need to spend years of time and spend a lot of money. It, you know, it is so difficult to do a cross-border business. You need to know everything. But again, we are doing the work on their behalf. So that's why the investors are, you know, putting their trust on us and they're coming and meeting you and talking to you about your project. So uh, the bigger the project is better. We will be preferring bigger projects and we will be taking only 15 projects, nothing more than 15. So anyone having projects that you want it funded, please immediately get in touch and register your project faster. Then we will be taking it seriously and sharing with the investors so that you know who are you talking and what you are talking and how fast you can close the business. That will depend on your action. Thank you. Sure, Dr. Taylor. Um, let me just share my screen again. Um, I, I would not say there's 15 anymore, Dr. Hader, sorry. Um, we no longer have 15 spots. So I would say we can consider three is already gone. So <laughs> there's not really 15 uh, slots left for the projects. So we should we should just uh, watch out because this is going to be uh, filled out very quickly. Uh, we have already some few friends who are telling us they want to join. So that's perfect. So you're welcome to go on the website, www.bookmaster.net. You go through events. And um, once you go to events, you can go on register now. And it will take you to our portal where you can book your ticket. So any, any questions that you have, you're welcome to email us or contact us on WhatsApp or any type of, of communication. And we will definitely answer your questions. And uh, we are really looking forward to see um, all our friends there, those we've been seeing for quite a while. It will be really, really good to see you. Like I said, um, there's a lot of things that takes a lot of time online. There, it will be something that we want to be like. It's on the go. It's on the go. We get things happening fast. So I like. I, have, I would like to call it the event of the decade because I would say, Dr. Hader, from the first time we had it in Kuala Lumpur, I've seen the quality of the event and I've seen the event going up and up. So I am really looking forward. We have grown a lot from the first time we did it. We've learned a lot about business owners. We've learned a lot about how to deal with investors. So we want you to jump on our back and go and close that project. So please feel free. Any question that you have, you are welcome to, to, uh, um, to ask us. And uh, Dr. Peter, before I give you back, I know we always say we tend to do our summit for 60 minutes, our webinar. But I think today we took a little bit more time, so we will be done very shortly. But before that, Dr. Hira, we have one friend who has been joining us for the last three to four years, Mr. Saddam. And uh, I just would like him to say a few words. We've been dealing with him for a while. And Dr. Hira, this man has grown. I like to call him president because <laughs> this man has really grown from the first time we've met him. I've seen him traveling already from being just in Bangladesh. Now he's traveling traveling with people around him, working with him, working for him. So Saddam, I must say, I must say congratulations and well done. It will be good to hear from you. Thank you. Thank you, Ove. Good day. Good day to everyone. Thank you, Dr. Haider. Thank you for this global village invitation. I always tell everyone that, I mean, it's really a global village. And I get always inspired looking into your energy and the passion on it. So uh i'm happy and uh really i mean a little bit sorry also not to be so much regular with uh attending the session uh i will try i will try uh so i have i mean it's a endless thanks for the team of the uh, business summit true yes last uh, uh one one and a half year we had been uh, working a lot i don't know the yield of the work <laughs> that is not happening maybe <laughs> in the right way but it's like too much investment is happening. 
into i mean it's uh, not like uh, uh, from the investors it's like uh, 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 the the partners investment only uh, on some work uh, around uh, artificial intelligence and data analysis so we do uh, data analysis very customized for organizations in a managed service way that means the company they don't need to think about the intelligence to extract from their data uh, rather they can focus into their business and they can pay a little bit to us as a service and we deliver the intelligence in the returns so like 100 percent managed service uh we have our own platform for that which is discovery ai so that is more or less so um, we uh, tested it with few clients over the last few months i mean after uh, january of this year only and now we are trying to uh, expand that's why maybe a little bit i mean here and there i'm uh, moving sometimes but yeah it will be my pleasure always uh, to join uh, every time every month i will try my best and let's see how i can also see you all at lisbon i love <laughs> portugal a lot it's a beautiful place Yes, Thank you. we know. We know you've been to Portugal a few yeah. times, so there's no excuse yeah. for you not to come. Okay, so we yeah. know you've been. That's we've it. been. We've been talking to you. We've been watching you. So you can't give us excuse yeah. not to come. A good, you owe me a, a good. By the way, good. We are good. You choose <laughs> Portugal. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, uh, Mr. Saddam. Um, again, like I said, we've been working together, and I'm. Sure. I am really happy, Doctor, to see you grow from where from where we were at the beginning, spending hours. Uh, to talk on Zoom. So, wow, well done, well done, um, Saddam. We're proud of you. Uh, our next topic, I would say part of our agenda, I think this is very exciting, Dr. Hader. We have a really, uh, uh, the honor to have someone, a very privileged man. Uh, I must say he is also one very VVIP. We were just talking to him before we start this webinar. And I was, was very, very pleased about his vast knowledge, experience, and exposure that he has in different countries. He is a master, he's a specialist in telecom, and he's also an investor. So uh, I think, Doctor, I am not even doing justice to, to introduce him. Maybe this is your friend. If there's anything I must, please feel free to, to invite him. If there's anything I must, and let us uh, have our very good friend today with us to speak and let our guest be blessed with his speech today. Thank you. Um... You have not mentioned the name, but I will declare his yes, name. I don't want to mention the name. I said, let me allow you. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. He is a um, major investor and uh, an expert in telecommunication business. And um, I met him incidentally. You see, business people always find business people. You know, we were um, meeting at, in the mosque. We, I was entering the mosque for our Friday prayer, and he was waiting outside the mosque. And then... I, you know, when he looked at me, I looked at him, we had an energy, you see, how it happens. So he gave a smile, I gave a smile and said, hey, how are you? So it started, you see, before the prayer. So it started, we had a two minutes discussion. And then after prayer, we had 10 minutes. Then immediately after that, we had a dinner together. Look at this. And now we transformed to be good friend. And then now I discovered that he is also known to my brother Ronnie Delgado. And look at this. You know how small the world is. It's a part <laughs> of the global village. That's what I say. Yesterday, when I was coming to the US, there were thousands of people queuing up in the uh, immigration. And I was shouting at them that why the hell you did the immigration and let all these people queuing up for what? Open the world, make it to be a visa free world. The world should be one. For everyone, yeah, true. we should be all equal. Let everyone go everywhere without a visa. Why it is a visa? Forget about visas. Let everyone go everywhere, wherever they feel. The world is not so small for these 840, 8.4 billion people. It's nothing big, but the world is big. We can go anywhere and you know live everywhere. So that's how I believe in a global village concept. And I don't say, Today I'm here, I'm in Canada, I'm in America. No, it's in part of the global village we are in. So the world is small. So let's meet our friend, uh, Mike Singh. He will be precisely talking about um, what he does in a three to five minutes time. Let's hear from him and what opportunities he can offer for the invest, I mean, for the investment in the telecom sectors. Let's hear from Mike Singh. Thank you, Mike. 
Thank you, thank you. Assalamu uh, alaikum, namaste, good morning, good afternoon. If there are any Spanish speakers, buenos tardes, buenos dias, French, bonjour, bonsoir. Um, and of course, to all my uh, Bangladeshi friends, namaste, salam, and kemo nacho. Um, thank you for the opportunity, Dr. Haida my esteemed colleague, Ronnie Delgard, who's done so much good for the people of Guyana, having donated large amount of feeds for several projects. And uh, Ronnie is such an amazing human being, and I will be remiss if I did not mention him. I'm extremely happy to see we've got such an august gathering of persons from uh, throughout the world. And I can tell you, um, I was born in Guyana and I left Guyana very young because it was just jungle. There was nothing there. I wanted to see the world. I went to England to study. And of course, I came back to Guyana, worked for one year with the then president, uh, Mr. Hoyt, who was like over Gorbachev. But then I left, went back to England and to Canada. So I owe my education to both countries. And I found an opportunity to work with the world's greatest innovation center. I went to work for AT&T, and my work there took me across the entire globe. I am at home when I work with people of all cultures because I'm multicultural, I'm multilinguistic. I get bored if I don't have diversity. I thrive in a diverse environment. For me, Guyana was a village. So I had to get out of the village and see the world. And my career in telecoms has taken me to 90 plus countries. And the most important lesson is that all human beings are essentially good. The iniquities of underdevelopment was trusted upon people by colonialism, but the world has changed. The pendulum has swung from the West to the East. The West is in decline, whether we want to accept it or not. The pendulum has swung from the North to the South. The growth today in connectivity, in mobile subscribership, in terms of innovation is being fueled by the youthful population of Sub-Saharan Africa, South Asia and Latin America and the Caribbean. In his seminal book, Chindi Rising, Dr. Jagdish, one of my gurus at the Telstad professor at the Goizeta School of Business at Emory, had predicted that 2015 to 2025 will be the decade of realization for India. And we are seeing this by 2050, India will eclipse the United States or even before because of democracy, demography, and demand. India has an extremely youthful population. And we must not forget that next to India are Pakistan and Bangladesh. Both of these countries, had they been still part of India, before partition in 1947, they would have been greater than the United States today. And I lay the partition squarely at the feet of the British. When Jesus Christ walked this earth, India was the richest nation in the world. She was the richest nation. And I talk about a subcontinent that included all of uh, Pakistan, Bangladesh, and today India, that was unmatched. The, the wealth of India was heard of in places like Rome. The Greeks had come to India. Marco Polo had gone to the East. He had seen the wealth, he had seen the resources. And when he returned back home, he was placed into jail and called a liar because it was hard for Europeans to recognize or even fathom that it was a part of the world where you know, the finest muslin was produced at the Pashtu A ring. Let's talk about the theft of intellectual capital. 
before uh, see one of on Siemens and Mars. There was a man in Bangladesh or Bengal called Bose who had already done so much work in electromagnetic transmission. A lot, uh, let's talk about the Arabata system of numerals which came from the subcontinent. We talk about Europe, but how many of us stop to recognize that the wealth that Islam brought to Europe in Cordoba, the center of learning, was stolen by Torquemada and sent to the Vatican. And then they rolled it out and talked about the Renaissance. But the world has changed. Today, we are living in an era of instantaneous communication with the proliferation of so many things, the internet, the OTTs, WhatsApp, Voting, Telegraph, you name it. But we are moving beyond that now to an era of internet of things. One fellow talked about blockchain. We're going to talk here also about artificial intelligence, the fourth industrial revolution, the rise of nanotech. Today, no man is a village. And I urge you to get a copy of Alvin Toffler's book, Future Shock. I read this many moons ago in my career at at and and it still holds true today, Dr. Haider. The race is about those who are able to harness data, interpret it, and use it. The race is between the fast and the slow. So countries and societies that invest in three things, human capital, infrastructure, and ease of doing business are going to survive. You talked about Guyana. Guyana is, is wealthy, but we've got a human deficit. We don't have enough qualified human capital to move the speedometer needle. Guyana is in the same inflection point as the United Arab Emirates in the 70s. And I love to talk about Abu Dhabi because I went to school with the royal family of Abu Dhabi. I met Sheikh Zayed many times. When I was 18, I went to Abu Dhabi. It was nothing. But Sheikh Zayed always believed in the importance of people being at the center of development. He said, yes, we've got oil, we've got all these things, but one day it's going to leave us. So how are we going to prepare for the new economic shift? Is the UAE prepared? Absolutely. When the last barrel of oil will leave in less than 20 years, they would have already transitioned. I urge you to take a look at the Abu Dhabi Vision 2030. I was fortunate to work on the ICT element of that plan. And if Guyana could just take one page from that plan, they will be way ahead. We're moving towards an era of renewable energy. It's irreversible. Fossil fuel has an extremely limited time uh, shelf life. So the big push is towards solar, towards uh, rare earth minerals. The big push is towards wind. And if we don't do that, mankind faces a serious risk of extinction. In the United States, Ronnie's in Las Vegas, Nevada. I've been in Atlanta, Georgia, back in Miami. I've never experienced temperatures this intensely hot. And I can just imagine what is happening in the Sahara. So we are going to see a shift in the way people live, in the way people work. Are we going to colonize Mars? Absolutely. Space is the next big frontier. United Arab Emirates has already got a Mars program, and so are the Chinese, India, and everyone. But we have to be careful. We don't destroy space as we have destroyed Mother Earth. The Earth is also revolting because of the dangers of fossil fuel. Fossil fuel has contributed good and bad 
And the world needs to take stock that we are only custodians of what we have today. The most important thing in all of this is the survival of the human race. And technology, especially artificial intelligence, is demonstrating the good. There is also a bad side to artificial intelligence that can leave many people without jobs. And there has to be control. There has to be mechanisms to regulate the use of AI. Because if left to its own device, you know, it's going to be the machine against the man. We talk of a neural link with Elon Musk. All of these things are coming. I've, I've, I've been fortunate to work in the area of AI, IoT, blockchain, machine learning. Compared to my other compatriots in Guyana, they have not had this opportunity. So I remain thankful to God. And I like to say, Dr. Haida, I'm extremely impressed by your ability and your other co-hosts to put together such an august gathering of persons right across the globe. Um, my uncle, I don't know if I told you, was Guyana's very first minister of foreign affairs and attorney general, Sushwina Ramphal. And he was the architect of the sanctions against South Africa's apartheid regime in the 70s and 80s when he was the Commonwealth Secretary General. So I'm very happy you've gotten so many people and the human race must collaborate. We must find a way to connect, to collaborate in an era of shared learning because we live in a global village. And I believe in a borderless world. We do have a borderless world because of the preponderance of the World Wide Web and the scale at which the OTTs have taken over. No man is an island. Even St. Helena in the middle of the Atlantic has got an airport and it's connected to the African continent by at least one fiber optic cable. Um, your country of birth, Bangladesh, is going to realize its manifest destiny. I've seen the great work they've done with the Padma Bridge and um, I applaud the government and the people of Bangladesh for your outpouring of love, sympathy, and human compassion to the Rohingya refugees that have arrived at Cox Bazaar. I'm a humanitarian. I follow those problems closely. And despite its own developmental challenges, Bangladesh has did a great job in not turning away a single refugee that has landed on its shores. Dr. Haida, my brother, I thank you very much. I thank the other members of the audience for your rapt attention this morning. And I remain at your disposal to handle any questions or queries you may have. Thank you very much, sir, and uh, Danyavad Shukriya. Thank you. Wow, thank you so much, Mr. Mike. That was really... Um... A, a huge uh, 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 and very knowledgeable speech, I must say. Well, thank you so much, um, Mr. Mike, who is a catalyst in this world right now in the industry, in the market. So we really appreciate um, your speech. Um, we are almost done. I think we are done now, Dr. Hader. So um, if you have any few things to say, Dr. Hader, before we end, uh, I think it will be very nice to, to, to hear from you all. We spoke a lot today. Because of time, we don't want to hold everyone. Um, I must say, if you have any questions before Dr. Pedro, do a few remarks and we end. If you have a few questions, you, I'll give you the platform for two minutes. You may raise your hand and I will call you. Does anyone have any questions? I have a question, okay. but, um, uh, Mike. Sure, sure, please go ahead. It's please the thing, ahead. I did uh, send you a DM, it'll be, really awesome to connect with you um i i have some ideas bubbling in my head to do with telecommunications so um that would be amazing thank you perfect uh thank you mr sunny dr Hiro. oh mr ronnie you have you have raised your hand please go ahead well um 
I, I really want to jump in because uh, of of the level of of, of professionalism and and experience. Um, uh, the, the, uh, Mark Singh is such a very wonderful. He's a mentor to me. Um, I would like to say just one little story, if I have time. I was uh, at a meeting at the World Affair Council of Atlanta, and the, we were uh, listening to the ambassador of Colombia. He was the guest speaker at that time. And the ambassador spoke, the president of the Wolafer Chamber, uh, Wolafer Council of Atlanta spoke, but it was Mark Singh who took the stand and everybody, you have to see that. That was the most vivid experience I have. And Mark cannot delete that picture from my brain. You can try, but... I saw the line of people waiting online and asking questions about problems in their country. And, and Mark has an answer to everyone. And it was that wow. kind of experience. I, I was I was too. I mean, that, I said, I need to get to know this guy. I want to shake his hands. And from <laughs> that moment, we, we become good friends. His wife. Uh, his late late wife, unfortunately, she was a, was her, her dream for 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 me was to find a wife before she passed. Unfortunately, I, I didn't get a good chance to work on that. It's it's not my fault. But a uh, wonderful lady, wonderful lady. We were very fortunate through my organizations to make a donation of 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 all that. 2,000 gallons of paint to, to, to her foundation before she passed. And, and to her, the paint is nothing to me. I mean, I, I receive paint from all over the world. But to her, and, and, and to, to have the opportunity to paint her high school, where she graduated from high school, remember this. And, and she made a request for me knowing that we were going to make the paint donation, but for her high school to be painted. And she was able to achieve that goal before she passed. And to my surprise, Mark sent me a picture of, of, of the tomb of his wife last year, painted with the leftover paint that we donated before she passed. Wow. This story... When we're meeting people, guys, uh, just one word I want to say that I'm, I'm not a court person, but I believe in power of networking. So when you meet people, you don't have to sell them anything. I never sent Mark anything. Mark never sent me, sell me anything, but it's the connection we created during that little time we had. And, and I didn't know Mark knows uh dr ada it, it, it just so happened and i'm on one side max said hey i met your friend i was like whoa how do you know them oh i know him years ago i was oh no <laughs> how can that happen <laughs> guys uh i don't want to take this stand and say too much but uh make connections any problems you have you can solve it to, to partnership, to leadership, to networking, you can solve it. And you are part of a big circle. All of us here, we're not after your money. I mean, you see many, many, how many of you have IG, uh, Instagram? How many posts you see? Or if you click on that button and next time you click and the, the price is $4,000, 6 we don't do this here. How much it costs you to get all this knowledge? How much? <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. So look, you see how much knowledge Mark share with you here? I'm I'm guys, I take not. I don't know about you. I take not here because you cannot get that kind of knowledge anywhere without insulting anybody, with you just believe. Look at the history. This guy stand and give for you to free without charging you 
and without insulting me. So you are part of the good work. I'm proud to be here and uh, and and so glad you make the effort to be here on Saturday. Thank you. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Dr. Uh, Edda. My friend, Bruce, <laughs> I'm always can't okay. want to see your name, but I'm working on it. <laughs> I'm a British accent. You know, we're very difficult with our R and W, but uh, it's a pleasure <laughs> to meet you again, brother. Thank you so much. Uh, have a good day. Thank, Thank you. you so much, my brother. Thank, Thank you so much, much, my friend. Thank you so much for your sure, Dr. Hedro, I think we had a very good webinar today, Dr. Hedro. Maybe uh, I think if nobody has any, has any question, it's time for us to, to um, leave. But we'll be back again next month. And um, Lima, you can put the banner. And Dr. Hedro, if you have any few words while the banner is on, please feel free. Thank you very much. Thank you so much once again. I appreciate uh, everyone's... Uh, Patience and interest. We can see still we have 50 people online. So that, you know, after one hour, 20, 30 minutes, one and a half hour, we still have 50 business leaders from all around the world. They are not free people that don't have anything to do. And on this Saturday, I beg apology to every of my friends that I took your time during the holiday, during the weekend. And it's summer uh, in most of the countries. It's summer. I hope that. Um, uh, you will enjoy your um, day and uh, again um, Sunday more um, to compensate these uh, few hours. Well, um, business, as you see that we are um, focusing and we are uh, working on this and uh, we are connecting and how it is benefiting. It's it's tangible benefits that you get from join, you know connecting from this um, platform. Um, I look forward to see you on um, sec on the 2nd of September, uh, same time, same uh, um, screen. Uh, between this time, I'd like to see that some of you really making good progress and where me and my team would be very glad to assist you, help you and guide you to a greater extent to connect you to get a tangible results into your business, into your, in your life. So feel free, speak out and say what you need. We will be there with you. This far I can say, and I look forward to see you sincerely in one, on the 15th of uh, February in Lisbon. Block your seats at, at the earliest possible to avoid uh, a disappointment um, at the last moment. Um, because this is going to be the um, in-person summit of the millennium, I'd say. And then again, we will be meeting on 1st of August in New York. So till that time, stay well, stay safe, and stay blessed. Thank you once again for joining the summit. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Hiddle. Thank you, everyone, for joining. See you all next month. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.